My name is Pekka Laurila. I am a co-founder of a company called IceEye, and we come from Finland. Uh, Finnish people are known for being quite direct, so, so uh, you, you'll notice that I'll, I'll get right to the point. So IceEye is a company that does uh, global information services based on satellite imaging. And uh, when I say satellite imaging, I mean literally satellites. Uh, this is part of our team uh, uh, shipping our first satellite to the launch site. The satellite is there on the, on the bottom. And then the, the, the team is all happy and relieved. This has happened uh, two weeks ago. So, so uh, we, are, we are very well getting started. So the um, mission that we are on is about um, enabling everyone to make better decisions. This is really about making the world a better place. Um, and uh, we are doing this by enabling everyone access to reliable uh, Earth observation information, meaning that we are taking pictures from our satellites. And um, what's so special about our satellites? Um, we are building nothing short of the, the world's largest SAR imaging constellation. And SAR stands for a synthetic aperture radar. It's an instrument that allows you to image uh, in, in any condition uh, night and day. And uh, it will be the largest uh, constellation providing the, the uh, timely access to, to information on, on a scale that has never been done before. And uh, so two things about the instrument. One is that our instrument can see in the dark. So it's very useful for the other half of the time of day when the entire world is, is, is dark in the nighttime. And the second thing is that our instrument can see through clouds, which is very useful for, for the other uh, half of the time, or even more here in Finland, when, when it's mostly cloudy all the time. So these are two very important things for satellite imaging if you need to provide reliable uh, information throughout day and night and in any conditions. And now, this has been done before. There are satellites that, that image with cameras. There are satellites that image with radars. But there, are not, uh, there hasn't been ability to image day and night with a, a good enough frequency so that you can actually base uh, operational use cases on, on top of it. And um, the comparison is quite drastic. Uh, right now, if you were to take uh, the, the existing uh, radar imaging, Earth observation, and then combine that together, you'd be able to do uh, images every, say, two days of, of a given site. And we are going for imaging these same sites in every two hours. So, so we are going for a drastic increase in, 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 the, in the imaging frequency. And this means that you can finally base a lot of new operational use cases, uh, making uh, operations on, on, on the seas, for instance, a lot safer. And um, um, I guess if we look at the value chain, where we are placing ourselves, um, there, are, there, there, there is the, 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 the um, very beginning, which is in the instrument part of it. We are a hardware design company from the point of view that we are developing this novel, innovative, small uh, in imaging radar instrument that goes into our own satellites. We are building those satellites, and then we are keeping on developing that. This is, this is the sort of core uh, IP of our company and core competence of our team. But of course, now in the very other end, where's the business? The business is about selling information and uh, solving big, big problems of the world. Here's a few examples. Um, uh, illegal fishing is a problem that happens in many parts of the world. Uh, it's, it's a problem where uh, ships are fishing in areas where they're not supposed to, in other countries' um, economic zones, and, uh, and then fishing over quotas, and, and, and then destroying the, the fish population of, of those areas. And now monitoring this type of activity needs a service that can operate day and night and then respond in, in the types of human timescales. Imaging every two days is not enough to prevent this activity from happening, but imaging every two hours is. So this is one, one problem that, that we, are, we are addressing right now uh, with our solution. And uh, then, of course, when you're imaging the entire world, when you have the capability to image the entire world, you can um, uh, respond to a lot of uh, the, the, the problems in, in general, in the environment. So, so how does this turn into money? For us, it means uh, working with, uh, say, insurance industry in uh, working in preventing 
damage before it happens. We can be talking about flood damage, uh, tracking the, the progress of a flood, or we can be talking about uh, tracking progress of forest fires or, or, or things like this. And uh, this is, of course, you know, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak, um, uh, where ice monitoring actually is, is, funnily enough, one of our key use cases as well. Um, and, and, then, and, and then here's a few other examples. So working on surveillance of, of areas, detecting oil spills, tracking, uh, tra tracking what's happening in, uh, in agriculture, uh, and, um, and then responding to disasters, for instance, for, for, for search and rescue. And um, to get back to the concrete part of it, uh, we are right now in a place of our story where we are, are launching our first satellite called the ice x one still uh, very soon. Rafael will talk about this later today. Uh, and, um, and then continuing to, to, to uh, launch more, getting into the world's l largest constellation in, in a matter of a couple of years from now. And um, right now, if you want to contact us, uh, we are open for business, uh, selling capacity, selling uh, the, the, the pilot information services, and also we are very much growing up and hiring. So, so uh, please uh, join, jo join, join us in, in this story. Thank you.